Renzo Piano envisioned a classic ruin, the sort that you would see around the Mediterranean, when he created this building around six parallel walls. The entire front and back and ceiling are glass, so the focus is really on these six walls. So tell us about the proportions that make this entry bay work. Basically, you always have to have a, 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 it's a theme of sizing. And the eye picks up on this. Uh, what Renzo did here was he did a two foot tall by four foot module of stone. And that's carried out through the whole project. And then that same kind of relationship, it's four foot to 10 foot for the glass doors, or you'll have eight foot to 10 foot for these side lights. And all these different relationships all give that, that I'll call it a calming effect to the eyes when you look through all this. Garden is organized in a similar way to the building, which was structured around the six parallel walls. How does the garden echo the structure of the building? Well, you can see when you look over this direction here, um, everything wanted to be on a grid. Uh, that was very heavily enforced by Renzo Piano. And of course, with that, you know, we had strict adherence to the layout of the building. You can see it's followed through the handrails. It's followed through the placement of the trees all the way down. So everything is on the grid. You can see it's perfectly like 30 feet by 30 feet. Uh, everything is laid out that way. I love the fact that this row of trees doesn't only continue into the wall, but on the front side of the Nasher, there's another tree that grounds the end of the wall on the sidewalk for each of the walls. Right, the Baroques out front, they follow the same pattern as out here. They follow it on Forest Street.